uh, as you can see today, I have another special hel helper, Jiffy the Grasshopper. <laughs> and uh, it's a uh, grasshopper is very appropriate because today one of the one of the uh, tools we are going to be discussing is leap, how to leap, how to jump. And the grasshopper is a very good e e example of that. And so uh, Jimmy the grasshopper, Jiffy the grasshopper will remind us of that. Also, uh, let's, let's review a little bit how to communicate on this level. Uh, on, on this level, we communicate, talk and listen on, as you know, on two different levels the everyday intellectual level through our ears and sensing mechanisms. And that's normal. We don't need special training for that. Uh, and the other level uh, is being communicated at the same time. That's, I call it the angular level. Um, angular level is simply, uh, simply means that we are listening and talking using the body as a base so uh, my ears are listening and and i'm also listening through the body uh, doing it doing it this way will ensure that the message that uh, uh, we're trying to communicate here gets through if you're only listening through conventional means through the senses uh, then the information may not get through probably not going to get through and and or there is going to be huge uh, misunderstandings so anyway just to make sure that we listening through the body as well let's just first smile and <laughs> feel your face so the smiling became a clown we call this a clown feeling my face it's clown the clown assures that some amount of non-seriousness goes into this conversation as well. It's the most serious subject, but it could be only gotten non-seriously. So clown, so feel your face and feel your breath at the same time. And you will see that very quickly, you can relax into the body. And then uh, let's feel, let us feel our hands as well. And the breath at the same time. Sustained attention on a body part is most important. <clears throat> if a thought comes up, a comment of any kind, just chuckle, remember chuckle Charlie. <laughs> We interrupt the interrupter. Okay, so we'll start now. Once we have all these wonderful spiritual statements, like represented here in the contrast mind, uh, which is represented by the chain, right? And we're trying to make this leap that we talked about, this jump, this leap out of this, leaping out of this reality into angular reality. Once we want to do this leap, we can't because there's 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 too many too many concepts to bring across. There is too many concepts, too much understanding, too much information attached to those wonderful statements. So statements. So unredeemed conceptual conceptualized spiritual statements prevent us from leaping beyond the mind. The key uh, the key understanding here is unredeemed. Uh, later on, we'll, we will see that those spiritual statements are wonderful and they are going to be used as stepping stone if it's redeemed. If it's, if it's not redeemed, it's an obstacle. If it's redeemed, then it's going to be a stepping stone. So it, as long as it's unredeemed, it's going to be an obstacle and it's not going to let us do this leap uh, successfully.
So the solution, spiritual statements are redeemed and turned into stepping stones by using the Angular operating system. So all those wonderful statements can be used as stepping stones. Are, we can redeem them. 